Yeah. So this is this is more about how to record. In other words, yeah. what, how the studio would be. Record, record you back in the uh, from around about the 70s onwards, probably I would say, right. more in the 80s. Right. Here, you have a fantastic machine. This is a cassette machine. Right. You haven't got a cassette to show them, which is quite easy. But they go in there, right? And you used to push the button and record. So you, used to, you could plug things in. You should be able to get some plugging in places here. Down here. Right. And this, I had a, a smaller version of this one. It was blue in colour. And you also had cassette machines which were the size as um, a hi-fi system. Very big ones. Right. But this is a portable one, so you could you can listen to your music on the move instead of your iPhone. This is your iPhone <laughs> equivalent, shall we say. Right, right. So the, your iPhone will have that and what that machine does as well. So this is a more modern machine? This is a modern from thing. everywhere then. So if I attempt to open it up, here we go. This is a just for recording voice. Right. I think you can record. You can record uh, the input as well. Probably there's an input. Yep. I haven't got my glasses on, so I haven't no, I think can't right. see that. So I think you're right. zoom in. Um, yeah, it's um, a handy recorder of those reporters, shall we say? Right. So if you go in um, and record somebody, you know, for if you record. Yes, and that's for the microphone. That's your USB. So that goes into your computer. So you should be able to put the sounds from the computer. But it's a more modern, up-to-date way of recording. Right. So from your cassette machine, which you could record on, which is a very big tape, you can see the size of the tape. Right. To this, which is the digital age. Right. Right. Okay. But right. The, the, the Aces was the start of it all. Would you say the techie stuff? The, the Aces were these machines here. Right. Right. This is the sort of 90s, 2000s, you know, onwards. Right. Yeah, this is what probably the BBC would use, or yep. other radio stations yep. would use, because they're just handy. Yep. You know, you put, push a button and there it is. Right. There's this, you've got to put a tape in, yep. rewind it, yep. fast forward it, yep. edit it that way, but this is all on a digital thing. So that will go onto your computer, yep. but this you will go on the computer, but you have to play and record on it. Right. So, so this is why. So, JT, so JT, um, if we, the, the, there's, there's a whole, uh, there's a school visit in the in the gallery yep. where the where the teenage bedroom is yep. at this time. So our plan for the week has been uh, postponed till next week or the week after or right. sometime soon. Right. But um, if if you were to take a cassette machine, cassette recording machine into the teenage bedroom of the 80s. Yeah. Uh, could you record a radio program? Well, this, you record sound. Yeah. Yes. So if there was a sound thing in there, you record it, or your voice, you could do, like we're recording on your your machine at the moment. Yeah. And uh, just do the sound. Right. Okay. Which is all you need for radio. Yes, that's all, that's all you need for radio. You don't need the pictures. Right. So this, this, you can revive this machine and still use it today. Yeah. Is that right? Okay. Yeah. So what you're recording on, you, you won't be able to see me on radio. No. <laughs> <laughs> Unless, it, you know, it's, it's a visual thing. Right. But on these machines, you can do the sound. Yeah. And especially this one, you can save the sound as a digital format. Right. Right. So it's quite practical to to have the, the bedroom as a studio. In a way, as a uh, form of uh, workspace, and you build it to your own requirements. So my requirements would be different than somebody who's born now, because their their studio just would be an I, iPhone, and that's it. <laughs> Whereas I like having technical stuff around me like this. Right, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. All that lot, yes? Yeah. And, um, but in, in principle, a phone might be enough. A phone would, would be enough to do a show. Okay. At the moment, my, my studio at home is just a computer, and you put the songs onto the computer right. and talk over it with the microphone going into it. There's no real studio in the form of that. 
Oh, that is a studio. It's like I'm sitting in front of this thing here. <laughs> right. Yes. Right. Which is uh, your studio. Yeah. Yes. So yep. your studio is on the moon. Yeah. But it's, I like big studios. You know. Right. Complicated okay. studios. You know. <laughs> okay. Things which you, you sit down and you operate, you know, you just don't, don't just push a button and out comes, you know, <laughs> the music. Right. So it's, it's learning that if people don't learn the old craft, the old machines which you have here, then you don't get better at how you produce something. Okay. Okay. Well, JJ, that's, that's enough. The second one has gone over five minutes. Really? Yeah, so we'll stop there, but we'll... The, show, the, the Visible Girls show is here till the 23rd of December, I think. Right. So we might, we'll come back again. We'll come back again. And we'll hope to get, get find it in a quarter, a quarter time. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. Okay. Therefore.